Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to divide radical expressions and I'm going to do two types. Uh, when the index or when the indices, plural, are the same, so here for example it's the cube root of 8x to the fifth divided by the cube root of 27x to the sixth. And then the second problem I'm going to show you is when the indexes or the indices are different. So here I've got the square root, remember which just means two, of 6 divided by the cube root of 3x. Okay, so let's just go through those. There's slightly different things that you have to do for both of those. So let's get started. Again, one of my favorite sayings is that difficult problems are just a bunch of simple ones that we've stacked up together. So in a sense, what I've got here are two different problems, don't I? I've got that top part, the cube root of 8x to the fifth, and then the, the denominator, I've got the cube root of 27x to the sixth, right? So I could do those separately. Now, I could do this a couple of different ways, matter of fact, more than a couple different ways, and that's why these are a little bit uh, difficult to do well, because there's so many different options that you can take. So don't take what I'm doing as the only way to do this. But this is the technique I'm going to use. I'm, I'm noticing that when the indexes are the same or the indices are the same, I'm going to rewrite this all under one big cube root. All right? So that's going to be the cube root of 8x to the fifth, 27x to the sixth. And by doing that, what I'm doing now is I'm going to simplify that fraction underneath first and then go ahead and simplify the overall radical. Okay, so let's see what the third step could be. Well, let me see. I've got the cube root of 8. So I'm going to, at this step, I'm going to prime factor the 8 and prime factor the 27. Remember that 8 is really just 2 times 2 times 2 and that 27 is just 3 times 3 times 3. So I can rewrite this as 2 cubed x to the fifth and down here as 3 cubed x to the sixth. Now, since I am, <clears throat> I'm going to use that technique where I'm going to try to find the perfect match. And remember what that means. If your uh, exponent is the same as your index, that means that you can take the number outside the radical. And in this case, I've got a couple of those things going on, don't I? So I'm going to take the 2. Let's put the cube root here again. I'm going to take the 2 and put it outside the radical because it matches up. I'm going to take the 3 and put it outside the radical, again in the denominator spot, because it matches up. And over here, notice what I have. I've got x to the 5th divided by x to the 6th. Now remember that there's a rule of exponent that says that when you have the ba same bases, you can actually subtract the exponents. And that's going to give me x to the negative 1. And x to the negative 1 is down there. Okay? So now I've got 2 thirds cube root of 1 over x. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, I'm going to divide this up now. Make this step 5. Here's my 2 thirds still into two different parts. I'm going to say the cube root of 1 over the cube root of x. We know what the cube root of 1 is, don't we? We know that it's uh, just 1 because 1, oops, sorry about that. We know that 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So we've got this part settled out. And this part down here, the cube root of x is what times what times what is equal to x. That's a little difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this in fraction exponent form. And I'm just going to leave the two-thirds out there. We're still going to bring that back in. Now, I'm going to multiply by 1 because any fraction exponent that's in the denominator 
means that it's a radical. And I want to multiply it by something that's going to make this a whole number. And if you said two-thirds, you're absolutely correct. And I'm going to multiply this whole thing by two-thirds. Okay? Now, I'm still remember that I still have this two-thirds out here. So this is going to end up being x to the two-thirds. And then down here, I've just got the x. Okay? And that's going to end up being... Let me just bring this two thirds over this two thirds outside here now over, and up here I'm going to have two times the cube root of x squared because I'm just putting that exponent over the index exponent over the index, and then the x is down here. And that is my step six. That's my final answer. So the final answer is two cube root of x squared all divided by 3x. I hope that didn't seem too complicated. Alright, let's try the second one now. What do you do when the index is different like down here? This one divided by this one. I can't put them under the same index because the uh, under the same radical rather because the indexes are different. So let's do this. I'm going to, hold on, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and prime factor this one, the 6, the radicand. So I'm going to get the square root of 2 times 3. And down here I'm going to have the cube root of 3 times x. So that's my first step. And then I'm going to change them to the fractional exponent form. Do you remember how to do that? It's basically the radicand and then the exponent 1 over the index, exponent over the index, and then down here I'm going to have the exponent, I'm going to move this 3 underneath here, over index, and here, exponent over the index. Now notice that I lined up the 3's. I did that for a reason because like in the previous problem I'm just going to subtract those two fractions. Let me just do that off to the side. So when I have one, one half minus one third that's the same thing as saying three over six minus two over six or one over six. So in my fourth step I'm going to have two to the one half times three to the 1 over 6, all divided by x to the 1 third, because that's the only thing left down here now. Okay, so we're getting closer to simplifying this. Now remember what I said, that when you have a fraction in, as your exponent in the denominator, you basically have a radical. So we need to multiply this by something that's going to make that radical go away. And if you said x to the two-thirds, kind of like in the last problem, you're absolutely correct. Now look what this gives me. Again, just a bunch of simple problems. In the denominator, I just have x because one-third and two-thirds gives me three-thirds or one, so that one's just that. But up here, look what I have. I have a two, a six, and a three for my indexes or my indices. So you could ask yourself, what's the common denominator? And if you said 6, again, you're right. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the 3 over 6 times 3 to the 1 over 6 times x to the 4 over 6. Let's clean that up a little bit. And now what I have is the sixth root of 2 cubed times 3 times x to the fourth all divided by x. And believe it or not, that's your final answer. Now you could conceivably say, well what about 2 cubed being uh, 8 times 3 or 24? Could you rewrite it that way? And you really could. I just like to leave things usually in factored form but this is perfectly acceptable as well. 
Okay, I hope that those two examples helped. Uh, remember, there's lots of ways to do these, so you might want to check some other videos just to see some other strategies you could use. Good luck.